rest of that peel. Um, today I'm going to be baking pumpkin chocolate chip cookies, but before we start that, I'd like to try something new too. So this is called the music column, or music category, whatever you want to call it. And that's where I just talk about some of my instruments, what I like to do, if you can see here, I've got a keyboard. So, yeah, that's that. So, this is the first instrument of the day. And this is the flute. Some of you might already knew that. Yeah, know that. But I have been taking flute lessons for two weeks now, I think. Although... Yeah, we have a special guest. post. Uh, so I got a new laptop and it didn't have Movie Maker on it. So what I ended up doing was downloading Windows Movie Maker off of the Microsoft website. That's working. But now a lot of the videos off of my van top is saying they're corrupted. When any other video editor does it just fine. I figured out how to fix this just it's becoming a real pain in the butt. So this, back to the uh, music category. So I'm going to play a song on the flute and then a song on the piano. Um, my music stand is quite crowded here. Uh, okay. Let's see. Hey. Oh, you got it. Oh, pages. Okay, this song is called the Welsh Melody. That was Welsh Melody from the Trevor Y. Beginner's Book for the Flute. So that's that. But that was Welsh Melody, again. Yes, the big tower over there in the corner. Things. Okay. So, this is. 
gluing up on. Okay, this is the Merry Clown. Not sure what the meaning is of it. Ah, okay. One thing before I, one thing to point out before I play this, if I, if it sounds like you're playing out twice, I probably did, because even though this is a concert 950 made by Radio Shack, it's amazing, but it's got some issues, such as the fact that it doesn't have touch sensitivity. Like, no matter how hard or soft I touch it, it's going to be the same volume each time, which is completely unlike the previous, my mom's keyboard or the piano we have in the main floor. That, those are, well, piano, of course, is going to be touch sensitive. But this thing is not touch sensitive. I mean, the good benefit is it's got like 500 songs built in. No, one more Uh, Maggie, can you do it up? Okay. My dog is getting reckless. Okay. So there goes Maggie. Okay, so, so if I miss something else on this thing, bear with me, it's, well, good keyboard, but has some flaws. Okay, this is the Mary Clown. That's the thing with the uh, touch sensitivity lack thereof. So, I mean, it's still good, but you, if you get a keyboard like this, be prepared to deal with that problem. I mean, it's an amazing keyboard. I like it for reasons such as this. Wait, okay. And G4. I think I've used it. I think I have used this one as one of my videos, but of course the YouTube copyright policy copyrighted me. Copyright not right, uh oh. <coughs> uh no clue but they um did a copyright thing on me. So this is I shot the sheriff. No clue who it's by. This is just one of the 120 songs on this thing. So YouTube, please do not copy that me again. Here we go. One cool thing, or really cool thing about this, is you can do this. You can take out like the drums and everything. Taco Bell Cannon. I'm gonna have to be sure to list all these in my stinking comments. This is Blue Switch Shoes. I think it's by Elvis. But <laughs> my dad's probably gonna hate me after this. He's in the next room napping and I'm boiling you. <laughs> Oh my 
my dad woke up, woke up from his nap for obvious reasons. Um, but I think a lot of you ought to know this one. The techno style. It is so much things on this thing. I've used this one before. That has scared me so many stinking times. I have this sign that says write the book you want to read. This thing ha is supposed to be hung up, but again, the imp improvisation, improv, or not improv, that's too much. But pretty much any time I bang my chair against this thing, it's going to cause this thing to fall over. So, yeah, I'm probably going to get this hung up sometimes. So then it doesn't fall on my head, but. So, there's so many things on this piano here, and like there's a rock melody. Has been put away. Now, what to do with this thing? A uh, speaker set. Oh, a game speaker set. Okay, we go. Okay, we go. And now, a piece. The chair. Okay, so I'm going to be loading the drums. 
plastic pin in from this side. So the first thing I'm going to do, oh yeah, and I also um, use my dad the chopper too to cut some of these. There's essentially drumsticks. Okay, let me get these in, in here. Okay, if you're wondering how I'm not even bothering to touch the buttons on the camera, I'm using this thing. It's a little remote control that came with my fan top. So, the next thing we're going to want to do is pull this off and then see if this fits. Oh, it doesn't. I think I need to get rid of some clothes. Get rid of. Okay. So. Mm, what do you think of those? Eh. Okay. I've said eh. I, I think I've said eh. Like. Since the first ever video I've made. If you remember the uh, Trip Down Memory Lane episode 3, I think, Mippy, I'm just like, okay, so the red's being finicky. Eh. <laughs> like, I did that in the whole video. I'm just like, like, looking back on those now, a month later, not much has changed. I'm still saying, eh. Okay, so. Here's the stick. Which fits. I've already made the perfect holder for these things. They came when I got my new closet organizer. And I've used. So, this closet organizer has little holes. That, those holes are literally the perfect thing inside to put those wooden dowels in there. Dowel, not wooden dowel. So, now I'm going to begin putting in the canoe. So, okay, so I need you all to do me a favor. Comment down below if you think I should keep using this thing. Because I'm probably just going to do something like this. And then put this one next to it like this. And then have actually no, I think I did this one that and a slight angle. No, not very flat. And then this one. I think one of these is actually thinking that big one was my seat there. I see if it still works. And that'll work. Need another one. So let's see. I have one of those things to use as a seat. What you do with this one? Okay, I'm gonna leave this out into the next video.
once at two points though. Oh my gosh, this thing's actually fitting in here. How? How in the world? Okay. Come on, get out there. I used to have like a small bucket that was perfect for this. That's perfect. I'm gonna have to come up with a better placement for that. I could obviously make something like that over there. I think this is the first time I've done an inside of a closet too. Technically what this is. So if you want to make that to me, is, yeah, I think it's there. That is my script holder. It's perfect for holding scripts when I need it. So I'm probably going to do that over those. So now, on to the pumpkin cookie. Let's move a little bit out. What am I doing? Um, okay. I've got a problem. Okay, so I've got you all my GoPro shorty mount, not even GoPro mount, it's just an off brand thing that I bought off Amazon for like six or seven bucks or something. So, let's get this done. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the camera set up and let me see. Okay, so I'm back. I just check with my mom, see if we can quit the rest of it. We can. It's shitty thing. So this package right here is a, um, one moment. As I has been going wacky the last few days, not just our oven thermometer, but the one we actually put in the oven to give us a supposedly accurate reading. It wasn't like either the thermometer is not accurate or the oven's off or something, because if we ran the oven at 450. The thermometer would be saying to each one. One moment. Oh, who knows if this will be accurate? Might be, might not. Cool. And these are repairing the couch. And she takes the bolts of the screws, I think. But I do not need them. There we go. So here it is. 
good and you can say, oh, I'm going to use the oven. It's not hot, but it's warm. So here's the old thermometer. and I can't remember where to put it. Oh, nice. Look at that. There's a mail icon right over the thing of vanilla. That just annoys me. to fix the recipe, but a paper just fell off the table, and the first thing I see is Maggie splinting, a, like, under, from underneath the table, because the paper scared her, like, she's nice, but super skittish, like, she'll react if I even, like, that didn't work, but she'll react if I, like, slam a door or something. <laughs> which I'm unable to get. So, yeah. No! Drop the paper! No! 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 No, Mocha! Man! That is just one annoying dog. She is stinking cute, but, uh, yeah, I'm bound to Dang it. I swear that dog is getting better. Come on. Come on. Maggie. Quit looking at me. Maggie. Okay. So, as I told you today, we'll be making... and post it on I would create a public Dropbox link probably and all of you can look at it if you need to because I'm thinking these are going to be really good and we are adding a better option to this so this is just like normal pumpkin cookies made from this however we are making this into milk in your mouth pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. So I'm, I, I'll either type this up, I think I'll type it, or I'll just scan it, but I don't know. So let's get all the ingredients. But we need to soften them, of course. And every time I cook, it needs two cups of and butter pretty much. Alrighty. Taking this opportunity to butcher. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. It requires four sticks of butter. That's nuts. 
One of this is one half cup. This is one cup of butter. This is two cups of butter. This is freaking nuts. So that is a whole box of butter. Never seen a batch of cookies that eat so much. Of course, then again, this batch does make 60 cookies, which is, I don't know, a lot. So, yeah. Granulated sugar. It's already out. Baking powder and baking soda. Baking soda. Baking powder. Salt. Huh. Yeah, I just got pepper for a pepper grinder. Nice. Salt. Ground cinnamon. Do we even have nutmeg? I don't think we have nutmeg. Oh, we have no nutmeg. Do we? Oh, I'll bet you we don't. <gasps> Garlic. No, of course not. That was me. Seven. Hold on. Okay, so oven's for heating. That's good. Hopefully the thermometer is accurate. So let's see, salt, cinnamon. We have no nutmeg, which is great. Can't use that. So I think the nutmeg is yeah, the nutmeg is optional. It's just something that goes on. Okay, so the nutmeg is optional, but it goes in the cake, cake, uh, cookies. So let's hope this turns out. Given this, unless I can, like, by some miracle, find nutmeg in here. This <laughs> is vanilla. Which I do not think we have nutmeg. Nice. Alright, one more. So we have no nutmeg, but we have something called pie spice. Which, what in the world does that mean? So, we definitely do not want cloves. Garlic, no, I'm not putting garlic. Black pepper. So the thing we have is, it's like, this is black pepper. It's something spice, I'll find, I'll tell you when I find it, but like now I can't even find it in here, jeez. Cayenne pepper, cayenne. Let's see. Ow. There's something called pie spice or something. Yet it's not even in here. Is it like in the pumpkin? New fashioned pumpkin pie instead of old fashioned. Swedish meatballs, too, not just this. There we go. Okay. Quit trying to act the gate. Okay, two eggs. Two eggs. Jeez. This is amazing if you've just been 
you were just at my day. Get those two eggs missing. How? Why are you cutting eggs? Probably not the person. I don't know. She didn't get me. But I'm just being an idiot. Yeah. Okay. Four. No, they have their own cement. Good. All right. So two cups. All right. I'm gonna get started on softening the butter. So let's take a package of butter and then good thing nothing but okay. Now I'm going to put the I'm gonna put the butter in here. Okay. I hate it when that happens. Just put the things back physically, then it whips. And then I'm going to really that. I'm just going to keep it good, which can't open. Alrighty. This is looking pretty good now. Although I have no clue how I'm going to fit all of these pieces of butter in here. Probably should have chopped them up. Because that would have made it a whole lot easier. Alright, so what I'm going to have to do is when this starts to melt, I'm going to take it out and then mix it around. To ensure that none of the butter leaks over the edges. That is a darn lot of butter. It's the oven that's in it today. Melt it for That's too much butter. That's way too much butter. Outside. Okay, that's done. So let's do Maggie. Maggie actually is really cute, but very skittish. I mean that literally. Because that table over there, piece of paper was sitting on it. It fell off the edge. Guess what she does? Sprint off from under the thing because it scared the life out of Ow! Jeez! Put it in the bowl. You know what I'm gonna do? A big bowl. Too small. Jeez, please. This is a good bowl. These bowls my mom got, they won't burn in your hand. You know, ask me why, I have no idea. I'm just going to take this down. And just like, tip all these into that. There we go. That will suit it a lot better. Thirty seconds how to do it. Okay. Next. Purpose flour, yes. Butter. That's sick. What in the world? This has got to be for the frosting. Yep, that's the frosting. So let's, uh, okay, we can do that. So this is just going to make the video a bit longer, but 
either. Either way. Crossing. Crossing. Okay, there we go. Now I have to transfer this again into a bowl. Again. Get out the electric mixer. So that's what it looks like so far. You grab the electric mixer and then I'm going to move over the other side. Remember, any of you dirty, you have to clean it. Yes, I know. Please put it in the dishwasher or hand wash it. When we go to make dinner, we need clean dishes, not dirty ones. There's the butter. And... Oh, that was a quick question. Of course, now I wanted to put the mixer, the blender, Right where you would normally plug in the mix. Mix it, yes. Yeah. I'm getting that really jumbled up. Alright. There we go. And, and then we're just going to mix. All this stuff. The eggs are sweating. Woo! Jeez! Put butter on the top. That was a close call. Sit this thing down and wipe the thing off. Sheesh! That's the first time I've done that. Be more careful. Okay. There we go. Mixing. have to add the granulated sugar. Two. Jeez, that's got a lot of sugar. Two cups. Mixing. 
we're done with like mixing the sugar, it's going to look something like that. So then you're going to want to add the two teaspoons of baking powder. teaspoons of baking powder. Baking powder. Okay. There we go. Oh, I think it's baking powder for that. Of course. Yeah, I better be careful. Don't want to grab it on the <gasps> One eighth of a teaspoon. The blue one is one half of a teaspoon. You don't even have a teaspoon. One half a tablespoon. One eighth of a teaspoon. One quarter, one half, so over. Oh man. Have <coughs> one teaspoon. Try to balance it. Okay, so I'm gonna try and one teaspoon. Two teaspoons. That's in. That's in. Two teaspoons of baking soda. I'm gonna have to turn the camera soon. I have another batter that I have no thinking clue where the thing is. And I probably should find out. Okay. Two teaspoons of this again. No, 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 My dogs were just barking at nothing, I guess. Bark, bark to bark, barking to bark. That's done. Alright, let's mix it in again. <laughs> One thing I've always had a tendency to do when I'm making cookies is undermix the batter. Like it wouldn't look right because I'd be undermixing it. Now, oh, shoot, I just put that on a clean plate. Nice. Alright, now I need one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, seriously. One more teaspoon. Okay, so another amazing recipe with cinnamon and sugar is what I like to call cinnamon, cinnamon sugar popcorn. It's basically just your normal average microwave popcorn with some cinnamon dumped on it, not dumped, but sprinkled, 
and then sugar on it. That tastes stinking amazing. Try it. I'm, I like. I mean it. Try, try it. Okay, so things like the allspice here, where there isn't even a lot left. You don't e don't even need to bother looking. up doing was, well, cracking the egg and accidentally putting the egg shell in. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. Time for the vanilla. Pure vanilla. pumpkin. This thing needs a whole stinking can of pumpkin. That's a bit too strong. Alright. 
you get to spoon this thing in, don't you? a whole can of pumpkin. Make sixty cookies. Oh. Time to mix. I'm just gonna like let this fun look go. Okay, so some of the cookies are done. This, I'm going to end the video here. This has taken a while, a lot of time. So like, subscribe to the video. Have a nice day. And I'm going to try to post this link below my video. Okay.